All right, I'm going to tell you something that is going to kind of shock you. It has shocked me, it has shocked my wife and uh, I don't know why I'm going to do this, but uh, I am thinking of doing a 15-day no-food fast. Now, for those of you who follow my channel know that I did a 110 hours that was five days no food fast the last day I was struggling I was really dying I mean from day three onwards I was like man I want to stop this so I managed to pull it till the fifth day the second time I don't know what came over me and why did I do it but I had a strong enough why that I said okay I will try to do it 10 days uh, I I don't know how I did it. I managed to do 11 days with no food and 24 hours no water. I've never seen myself skin and bones and skeleton just like that. It was by far the most unhealthy look I ever had. But I was really super skinny and uh, my weight was 57 kilos. In my life, I've never been 57. The lowest I was, I think was 72. And then it came down to 67, it never went below that. But 57 was like a shocker. And uh, I did get many people say, Loy, stop it, man, stop it. Many, many, many people were concerned and they even sent me private messages. People I never knew. My wife was concerned, everyone was. Okay, so I stopped it. But now I'm planning to do a 15 day fast. Now you must be thinking, like what the hell, man? You know, gone mad or uh, like some of you, I'm pretty sure will think that I'm doing this as a publicity stunt or I'm getting many views or followers. I'm not getting any views. If you check with those videos, they get the least amount of views. Some of them just clock in at 100 or, you know, just 200 views. So nobody's interested. So it's not for attention. Then uh, is it for losing weight? I don't have to lose weight. I'm 67. And now my muscles are all gone. Just skin and bones and whatever little bit is there. So I'm not doing it for losing weight or, you know, looking good. I don't think I'm going to look good. Uh, then why am I doing? I don't have any disease. I don't have cancer. I don't have autophagy, you, you know. I did autophagy for healing of the body that will eat any cancerous cells. And I did a blood test and uh, I found out I'm perfectly fine. So then, if I'm fine, if everything is perfect, why the hell am I doing 15 days fast? I, uh, I don't know, this thought started to bother me a uh, few days ago when I realized I was eating lots of chocolates, lots of ice creams. I was just eating, I was enjoying myself. And uh, yeah, sometimes I was eating too much. But my weight was still 67. It'll go up to 68, 69, whatever. But it'll come back to 67. And uh, given that my wife and my baby will be coming back, okay, uh, most probably by next month, I have a small window of opportunity whereby if I want to do this, I need to do it now or forever hold my peace. Because once after, my wife and baby come. I don't think I'll be able to do it. Uh, for the simple reason being is, you know, you're in a house and your wife is cooking and baby's eating and there is food and the aroma of cooking food and uh, you can't, uh, it becomes very hard here. And obviously, you know, they'll say, hey, eat, eat, eat. So it kind of breaks your concentration. So if I have to do it, I have to do it now. So that's one. The second is, you know, the why. I've always told you, you know, you need to ask yourself why. Why are you doing what you're doing? Okay, previously it was, I wanted to see what is the lowest weight I could go down to. So that was exciting, it was a measure. And the second part was the healing of cancer or any, you know, leftover broken particles in the, you know, cells, which can cause any issues plus loose skin it will eat it up but I ended up getting some loose skin so 
but this time, why? Why do I want to do it when I just did it? And then um, I just realized the main reason I want to do it is I just I just want to know: Do I have self-control? I'm serious, huh? This is not a joke. Do I really have self-control, or am I? Did I just get lucky? You know, maybe I was feeling my head was in the right space. You know, sometimes you can just get lucky. You you assume that uh, you have self-control. Maybe it was all the right factors at the right time, right place. So I was like, uh, what if I really don't have self-control and I assume I have self-control? Mm. So I was thinking, maybe I really need to prove it to myself. I do have self-control. See, I, I'll tell you one thing. I'm aware that if you fast for even a day, you have self-control. And I've done 11 days, a uh, pat on the back. But uh, I want to prove it to myself that yes, I have self-control. And uh, 11 days I was super thin, but I'm going to do 15 days, which is two weeks plus one day. So it'll be more like half a month. So one is self-control. Second one, obviously, autophagy, healing of the body, you know. But this time I'll have to be a little careful because I'll be doing a slightly more extended time. And, you know, the body nutrients and all that. Just have to be a little careful. I've already started to deprive myself of coffee and tea, which has given me a little headache today. And uh, I've started to eat only after... Nine o'clock in the night, I was eating at three, four. I was snacking in between, yeah, yeah. Just relaxing. Now, you'll be like, uh, hey, so you wanna keep doing this? No, no, no. This will be the only final one for the whole year. Maybe for the next 12 months, most probably, at least end of the year, I'll not think about this. But I want to finish this and get it over with before my wife and baby come. So, I know I'm not doing for views. I mean, I don't think any one of you is interested in watching. You've already seen me go through. You enjoyed the, or whatever, you know, you entertained the 200 people. I, I know for a fact, nobody is going to watch the videos. There are maybe less than a hundred. And they'll not even see the whole video. I mean, what is there to watch? I'm just talking. So, yeah. So, what are my why reasons? I'm See, honestly, I'm doing this for myself, okay? But, I'll be sharing the information. So, my reasons are as follows. Number one, I'm doing it to prove it to myself. Yes, I have self-control. Because food is my biggest addiction. Am I man enough to really have self-control? That's number one. Number two is uh, there is a lot of dead skin and uh, I need that to be taken out. And my body has healed. Huh? Uh, before I used to poop blood. Now that has stopped. So that's another, uh, I'm happy. So let it further heal. So two things. Number three is uh, I know for a fact that uh, after my wife comes back and the baby, I can't do this. It's not going to be possible. Uh, and, uh, but I'll tell you one thing, I'm scared. I, I'm scared, I'm worried, I'm frightened. Scared to fail because, uh, you know, I did it the first time, but there's a strong possibility I got lucky. What about this time? And, you know, now I've already started to I want to clear off the fridge. There is oranges and all that. Slightly expensive. I want to finish that. Don't want to keep it. It'll spoil. So I have to eat all that. So I'm waiting for that to get over. Maybe two, three more days. Uh, all outside purchase food is nearly over. Tea, coffee. Okay, only the dry sachets. Uh, so I'm getting there. And uh, I've already started to prep my body. Like from morning, I did not have coffee. So, I'm slowly weaning myself off coffee and tea. That's why I'm feeling a little headache today. And am I feeling hungry? Oh yes, I am feeling hungry. Because my body is used to being relaxed and eating. 
So very soon I'm going to keep reminding only after nine and then after three, four more days, it's going to start. Uh, will I succeed? I honestly have no idea. You might say, yeah, of course, Loy, you'll succeed. It's not that easy, man. Just because someone did, let's say, 100 kilometers running. Uh, it's not like, ah, he can do 120. It's like, you know, lifting weights. Let's say the highest you can, the heaviest you can lift is 100 kilos. That doesn't mean, ah, he did 100, he can do 150 or 200. Your body will break. You'll end up, you see some of the bodybuilding workouts. People's muscle and tendon have snapped. The bone has broken. So obviously fasting bone will not break. But uh, you know, you just never know. Electrolyte balance and the heartbeat. You know, there's so many factors. But yeah, if I do it, that will be my crowning achievement. I'll be very proud of myself. Weight, uh, I think it'll come down to 57. I'm not too bothered about the weight. Goes down, goes down, stays heavy, doesn't matter. Uh, obviously, it'll go down because I'm not taking anything. I think, I think, uh, it might go down to 55 this time, which is not healthy at all for my height 5'8, 5'7, 5'8, and my height. Uh, and remember, I used to be 125 kilos heavy. That is muscle and steroid and all that. My wife is like, you don't need to. And she is worried, but uh, yeah. So I'm doing this for myself. So self-control. I want to know, do I have what it takes? Number two is uh, complete healing of the body. If there's any cancerous growth, anything, excess skin, all that. Jab here. You can see some of my videos, you know, the side and here and on my butt. So I'll eat the excess skin. Resetting my body for the taste because I don't want to be addicted to sugar. But yes, I love food. And uh, I mean, it's it's going to be a record that I've never done. I know people do 30 days and there's a world record for two years or something like that. I'm not them, they're not me. For me to do 15 days. While working, while doing everything else, walking. I know the challenges. I know my energy levels will go very low. You've seen my energy levels on the video. You see a Kadak Chai episode versus non. When I was fasting, I'll be like, uh, like this. And if I just walk a little, I'll be dead tired. The body shuts down energy expenditure on all unwanted stuff and only the basics like even when I'm working and I'm doing something I have to sit down and do it I don't even have the energy to stand and yes I'll be sleeping plenty of times hi doggy he's become very friendly see before he used to bark at me and now he's friendly he's coming pretty close to me so and yes I'll be sleeping a lot I think the biggest challenge is waiting for time to pass by. That is tough. Uh, so I'll have to play some video games or I can't even go out because if I go out, I might end up fainting or something. And I just never know. So yeah. And uh, yeah, I think my starting weight will be 67. Got a little bit of fat and water because I was eating everything, chocolates and all that. So yeah, let me know what are your thoughts. I know most will say it's extreme, you don't need to do it. But yeah, I don't, I don't know, I just want to do it. So yeah, and I know that uh, most of you would not be interested in the videos, 15 videos every day. But then again, I don't care. I'm just going to blog because I need someone to talk to, no? At least I can talk to the camera. So yeah, if you have any questions, you can post them down below. But I am getting into the zone. It's taking me two, three days to remind myself, yes. And I want to get rid of this itch. Can you do 15 days? Do you have self-control? I don't think you can do it. You can do it. You can't do it. The voice is nagging me. So I'm like, okay, fuck this. I will do it. So I'm getting ready. Another two, three more days. 
after I finish those oranges and perishables in the fridge, we start. All right, feel free, comment down below, let me know your thoughts. This is me signing off. Uh, the tea, no tea, no coffee, I'm getting a headache. Yeah. Okay, guys, take care. Ciao.